So the two critical findings of our study is that we were able to manipulate memory with Ambien during short daytime sleep episodes. The second aspect is that we found that the critical sleep feature involved with memory consolidation were sleep spindles. And these are short bursts of activity that occur in non-REM sleep. Another interesting part of this result is that prior studies had shown that there are relationships between specific sleep features and specific memory domains. But no studies had actually shown that these sleep features were critical. And we use pharmacology to really intervene on sleep to show that when you change the sleep features, that the memory also changes. So the way that we did the study is that people came into the lab multiple times. They were given one of three drugs, Ambien, sodium oxabate, which was a comparison hypnotic, or a placebo, which is no drug. And on one day, they would wake up in the morning, get trained on a bunch of different memory tasks, um, take a nap with one of those three drugs, and then get trained on the memory tasks again later in the afternoon when the drugs have worn off. We looked to see what memory task improved with what drug condition. What we found is that Ambien significantly improved verbal memory more than placebo and the comparison drug. Then when we wanted to find out what happened inside the brain during sleep that may be related to this memory improvement, we found that sleep spindles were also increased with Ambien. The idea there is that Ambien is increasing memory, verbal memory in particular, and that the critical mechanism for this increases are the sleep spindles. So why is this important? Well, first it's interesting that we can actually start to manipulate sleep to improve memory. The idea there is that we can start to tailor sleep to maybe improve specific kinds of memory, either with increasing sleep spindles, increasing other features of sleep to look at different kinds of memory. And in the long run, what we want to do is examine how this may affect people with memory deficits. So we know that people who are older adults, people with dementia, people with Alzheimer's, show specific memory deficits that are the same kind of memory deficits that we looked at in this study. They also, interestingly, show decreases in sleep spindles. So the idea is, can we treat these memory deficits with tailored sleep, even tailored naps, using pharmacology?